So what's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XML Gaming and today guys I'm bringing you a new video on Borderlands the pre-sequel on how to actually set up the Gib Save Editor. So I was online yesterday and I wanted to find out how to use the Gib Save Editor and there wasn't that much videos out there for PlayStation 3 that actually showed step by step on how to set it up. I only found one which was from Next Gen Update on how to set it up step by step so I wanted to take the time to show you guys how to set up the give save editor and how to actually get it to load for PlayStation 3 inside of the give save editor but before we actually get into the video obviously you're gonna need the give save editor which I'm gonna provide for you guys and brute force save data and then from there you either could put your save on your desktop or you could load a USB flash drive the preference is yours uh, mine is on my desktop, so let's actually jump into the video. So first things first, once you actually get the GIF save editor, you want to extract it and put everything inside of a new folder, which I just did a few minutes ago, so that the GIF save editor can load. If you don't put all the actual files inside of a new folder, you'll just get an error message and the save editor won't load. But once you do that, you should be good to go. Now, the next thing you want to do is obviously have brute force save data. So I'm going to open that up right now. Just give it a second. All right. And I'm actually going to open up my give save editor at the same time. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. It's open. And now from here, what you want to do is go to brute force save data. Right, and decrypt your Borderlands 2 save. So I'm going to hit decrypt, decrypt all files, hit yes. Now, obviously, you know, if you use Boot for Save Data, everything turns green once it's decrypted. Once you decrypt it, and it even say decrypted right here, you want to go inside the Give Save Editor, right, and hit open, right, and come down here and change it to PS3, the bottom right hand corner. Yes, you can do PC, and yes, you could do Xbox 360, but we're not doing those. We're doing only for PlayStation 3. Click on that, click on the save, hit open. And as you can see, guys, it's, it's loaded. Now, what you also want to make sure for your platform, again, make sure it's on PS3. Yes, you can do PC, and yes, you could do Xbox 360, but we're not doing that. We're only doing it for PlayStation 3. Once you change this, once you change it to PlayStation 3, then you can move over to the other tabs and mess around with the experience level. Um, experience points, overpower level, general skill points, specialist skill points, your name, your head, your skin. Now, like I said before, I just picked up Borderlands the pre-sequel the other day. Yes, it's been out since November, but I didn't have time to play it, so since school is over. I'm going to play some of the games that I missed. So Borderlands, the pre-sequel, is one of the games that I, I do want to play. So, again, I'll uh, put my save in here. And once it's loaded, you can mess around with all these lovely attributes. Now, I did experience level. Yes, it does work. I got my character go to 50. My experience points is at 99999. Um, overpower level, I just left it to zero because I didn't know if this worked. So I just left it at zero. General skill points, the specialist skill points, I did put it to 25. Um, I just picked a realistic number, nothing too crazy, and I believe that worked. Um, your vehicles, I didn't mess around with this, but you guys can mess around with this, and you let me know if this works. Um, your currency, I did go and put max money, 9999999. Uh, Moonstone, I put 9999, but when I went back inside of the game, it only gave me 500. I'm assuming that the cap is 500 on the game. So even if you put 9999, you still won't get 9999. You only get 500. Your backpack, you can put any gun you want. You know, the most powerful guns or powerful pistols or powerful shotguns or lasers. Um, shields, you could do the same thing if you want to. Um, I didn't mess around with this too much. Again, because I don't know all the shields and which one is powerful or which one do, does what. But you guys can do your research and you can basically figure out which one is the powerful, which one is legendary, so on and so on. And edit it, you say here, and you'll have that shield, that weapon, and your backpack, which is not hard to do. 
um, personal journal. Again, I didn't mess around with this, but you guys can let me know what works. And you know already, it's the same thing. You can put whatever you want in here. And it should work and it should load. Um, so on and so on and so on. Now, once you're done with modding your save, all you want to do is come back to save, hit it, click on your save, hit save, hit yes to replace. Once that's done, you can close out the save editor. Now you need to go back to boot for save data and encrypt your save. So I'm going to encrypt mine. Okay. And once that's done, you want to verify PFD. And the reason why you want to do that is to make sure that you don't have any corruption inside of your safe. As you guys can see, everything says, okay, 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 okay. And that lets me know my save is good to go. And I just take the save and load it back on my PlayStation 3. And it should have everything that I actually modded on my save. Now, if you experience some of the things that you wanted to mod that doesn't work, just try it again. Um, it should work. But that's pretty much it on how to set it up and how to actually get your save to load for PlayStation 3 with the Borderlands, the pre-sequel save. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's fairly simple, fairly easy. And that's it. But as always, guys, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. If this video was helpful, just leave a comment, say thank you. Um, I'm going to be making more videos, more consistent since school is over so look out for any of my new videos but that's pretty much it as always it's mr you know who from xml gaming check out my gaming channel and peace